Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest, my darlings. It's taken forever to upload videos today, guys, so I'm getting them out as soon as I can. Let's see what's going on with you. Wheel of Fortune, nice. We'll see if it's a good tower or a bad tower. Uh-oh, I can see where this is going. I'll show you in a minute. All right. Just one second. Uh, I'll be right back. I had to grab something. My bad. Anyway. So, where this is at, Wheel of Fortune, what is happening, a tower, what is in the distant past, a Leo having to have strength, the most recent past, page of pentacles, there was an offer made of some kind, in the immediate future, Empress energy, factors affecting the situation, is the truth and nothing but the truth crystal clarity on what it is that you want or don't want outside influences you release something baby dolls hopes and fears is the four of wands a celebration a home maybe even marriage and the final outcome is a message from possibly a Sagittarius. So we have Libra, we have Scorpio, we have Scorpio again, we have Leo, and now we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius full moon coming up mid-month. Just saying. This message may come in from far away. I'm feeling like this is a long distance message and I don't think you're expecting it at all and it may be that thing that crosses you let's find out what the wheel of fortune's about what is the wheel of fortune about I hope I'm not loud enough guys I hope you can hear me having technical dif difficulties today um, where's my volume here it is yeah it's not all the way up yeah there it is you have to leave a message, babe. Um, let's see. What is that Wheel of Fortune about? Earn success and walking away from my King of Wands. I feel like you were fair to yourself here, Scorpio about a situation you had no idea about. This this person had made you believe that they were being fair to you. And I don't think that they they knew what they were doing. I really don't. I mean, I, with, with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles here, I don't think this person had any idea what they was doing. They thought they were doing something to catch you, so to speak. And you went, I don't think so. So, this tower came down. You wanted to know what, when, why, and where. And you didn't get the answers that you wanted. So, like I said, towers are not... They're just towers. They're like realizations that either you screwed up or something great happened. So in this case, I would call it both because you realized something before a disaster happened. I can't make it up, guys. This person is codependent. They depend on another 
they may even have a drinking problem or something of that nature. Let's see. They're codependent on family. And their family does not want them to have anything to do with you. You are somebody who is the devil. You are somebody who's different. And this person wants to rush in. They want to offer you everything. But they have to have the approval of their family. That is the codependency here. Without approval, their, their family absolutely disapproves of this, whatever it is. Tower twice. But they depend on that security, that income. I think this person's like a playboy or playgirl. You know, they, if it wasn't for their family, they would have not much. They would have their basic income. So they disapprove. And I don't think you're willing to wait around on this person. You're an empress. You know? You don't have anything to prove to nobody. This full moon is about to illuminate that. Because there's a moon in that empress card I never noticed before. You're going through a serious transformation. A serious transformation. It's a risk you took to end something. To have the strength, no matter if you could see ahead of you or not. So you won't have to worry about your stability or your household. This was probably the right decision. So you can keep your status. So you can be the empress. You made a choice not to worry about what this other problem or this other person's problem was. You walked away. You said enough's enough. I can't see how to help you. Because if, 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 I mean, if you're in a situation where you depend on your family for approval and you don't get that, and if you walk away, you have absolutely nothing, nothing to even offer. I mean, it's not, not physically, but everything. I mean, it looks like this person depends on their family to tell them how to think. And you don't. You took a leap of faith here. And it was probably a really good idea. Because even though you didn't know what was going to happen, it's going to force the issue. This person seems like they're in love with you. And they want to marry you. So, let's see what they're going to do. You released it. You released it to the universe, and I'm, I'm letting the universe have it. We'll see what turns out. And there's Sagittarius again, rushing right in. And there's the Empress, twice. Okay. There's some all over me. Um... Sagittarius, seven of wands, well it's balance, seven of wands, you're balancing yourself so you can move forward to what it is you truly desire and you're willing to fight for it. You don't care who you got to fight to get what you want here. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of it. But you know, to bring balance to this situation, there has to be action. If there's no action, then there's inaction. 
and then nothing happens. I think you told this person off, because that's a factor affecting the situation. You expose them down to the bare bone, and you told them exactly how you feel, whether it was nice or not nice. I don't feel like, feel like it was like the nicest, but I, I feel like you were truthful and honest and straight to the point. You were very adamant about the truth. I want the truth. I don't want no more of this moon and this mirage. I want the truth. And I think they took that as like an attack. You know how I feel about that, guys. That's called insecurity. This person is so insecure that they took it as an attack on their person. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with and another Scorpio because they don't like to show how they feel. Yeah, guys, I'm not feeling too great today. These last couple of days, I haven't been feeling too great. A couple of people that I know are sick, too, so hopefully I haven't caught anything. Queen of Pentacles. I usually don't get sick, so it's unusual for me to feel ugh, like this. So, this person's mother is stopping them from coming forward. With that Queen of Pentacles there, she's got control of everything. And she says, absolutely not. She's going to keep this this uh, King of Cups single for the rest of his life if she can help it. He's keeping it a secret about how he feels. It's like, it's like weighing real heavy on him. He's keeping a secret about how he feels about you. While you're all glowing up and you're enjoying your life, my face is peeling too, guys. I put on some retinal cream and now I can see my skin coming off. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little out of it today, guys. I, I My first two videos weren't so bad, but by this video, man, I felt like I had to take some cold medicine because I was just not feeling good. I'm not feeling good. Um, but like I said, this person has control over everything in this person's life and they will keep them bogged down and to try to forget you. They will even introduce them to another female, another attractive female to try to take their mind off of you. But like I said, I think you have released that and because you've released that, they can feel it. They can feel that you've released them. They don't like that. They don't like it very much at all. That's, that's why I think you're gonna get a message here very soon. Four of Wands, hopes and fears, past. Damn, why, why? Gemini, so this is going to happen mid-month, and I think you're afraid it's going to happen, because you, you just don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, so the past is coming back, Divine Masculine. He's willing to fend off any other people that you're dating, players, whatever. He's willing to fight for this relationship. And this is going to shock the hell out of you. This is your, your in the hopes and fears. Either you're afraid this person is going to do this or you're hoping. 
we got Gemini season here. Like I said, this is gonna happen by the new, the the full moon, which is like the 14th to the 16th. Let's see what this Temperance card is about with this Eight of Swords or Eight of Wands. My bad. Whole different energy. I'm still doing my best here, guys. <clears throat> person is going to come and tell you they love you if they see you as a star they see you as their wish they're willing to wait as long as it takes but you're wounded you're hurt they want a brand new beginning with you Scorpio They know they've hurt you. And believe it or not, this is like that card that says, leaving you hurt me too. Uh, this is how I'm feeling this. Is that they didn't want to leave and they didn't want to not be able to tell you how they felt. In fact, it's been weighing so heavy on their mind that they can't wait to explode and tell you about it. But I don't know how well you're going to take this. I mean, that's going to be up to you. You've released it already. You've allowed it to go bye-bye. Maybe unconditionally. So you can fill your own cup. We're going to get a little more clarity. Why is this person coming back? Scorpio has released them. Is it because Scorpio has released them that they're coming back? Yes. They can feel that energetically that the chain has been broken. And they will do whatever they can to try to come back and get you back in the eight of swords energy they want to keep you there but they don't want to be any different they want to stay single they want you and they're going to promise to marry you But it's not because, now lovers can be jealous too. So it's not because they're doing this out of love. I mean, I there's no cups. It's all wands, it's all passion. The only thing that's cups is the king of cups by itself and the six of cups. I don't see no queen of cups, I don't see and we did get the Ace of Cups here, but that's still singular. And the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. Not a whole lot of feeling in this, guys. I'm feeling like this is a status chaser. Somebody who's looking for you to follow them around like a puppy dog. Because they feel like you have broken away from that energy. Whether or not you do, I mean, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to pull some romance angels and see what we find out here. Why can't people just let things be? Serious light. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So hopefully this person is worth waiting for. You need to let go of control issues. There is an engagement taking place. Chemistry and reconciliation. I think secretly, Scorpio, you really want this person back. But you have to understand 
that when you get this person back, that there's more to it than just love. Okay? Make sure you read the fine print is what I'm hearing. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I love you guys very much. I will try to get out another video before the day's out. But man, I'm feeling like I got hit with a sledgehammer. It might be from sleeping in front of that air conditioner. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Not breathing too good today. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Mwah. I love you.